Welcome to our Wandered Rogue 3 liter sling review. Are you thinking about getting the sling? Then don't go anywhere, because this is the only review you'll ever need to watch to know whether or not this Rome sling is the one for you. And you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the review, because if this isn't the sling for you, I'll make a specific recommendation for a sling that I think better suits your needs. You ready? Me too. Let's go. Based out of Utah in the United States, Wandered is a backpack and travel gear company that specializes in sort of like a hybrid of like, we do photography gear that also non-photographers can get a lot of value out of. But will this be as photographer and non-photographer friendly? It's a hard shell, three liter sling that's highly weather resistant and has a couple of interesting features. We've got a larger main compartment with a removable divider, a smaller, flatter back panel section, and a really, really unique sort of back panel that I've never seen on a sling before. And I have a lot to say on this. It's kind of like the biggest thing of this whole sling. But what's cool is that it can, as most slings can, be worn in three different ways. You got messenger mode, sling mode, and fanny mode. But which of those three modes is the best? I'll tell you soon very soon. One interesting thing to note about this sling is the style, or maybe the lack thereof. Now, Wander are experts on style. If you don't believe me, just look at the Provoke backpack. It's one of the most gorgeous backpacks on the market. But due to the structure and what they kind of got going on here, you know, it's not going to be the most subtle looking sling, right? It's big. It's bulky. We got a lot of positives with that. If you have fragile gear in here, aka a DSLR, it's gonna be protected. But then when it's on, you know, your front or your back, it kind of looks like you're like going to war, you know, like you got like ammo reserves in here and stuff. So, you know, that's one of the main things about this sling that you're gonna have to weigh the pros and the cons with. Functionally, I'm a big fan. Aesthetically, you be the judge. As of recording, this sling comes in two colors, the black and the much better looking Yuma Tan. God, that tan looks sick. Because it maintains its structure, it looks the exact same when it's empty or when it's full. But I'm gonna pack out this sling throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. This is the sling when worn on me in sling mode. Note, I am five foot eight. Overall, the comfort is actually pretty impressive because of this really unique sling back panel. It's a combination of words I never thought I would have said. And the additional shoulder strap panel right here. So comfort's not gonna be a problem. I'll sort of get into more details about that in the outside chapter of this review. And with every purchase, Wander offers a lifetime warranty against manufactured defects. And for all that, this bad boy clocks in as of recording at around 110 US dollars. And if at any point you are watching this review and you're like, I'm buying one, then we do ask that you make your purchase by roaming on down to the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you so much. Let's talk about the outside of the Wandered Rogue three liter sling. First up, I always start with branding and Wandered has done something that I'm not crazy about. They went really loud with their brand and they're like, we are wandered. That is a stamp. It is huge. It is loud. Uh, it's not really my style, but if you're a really big fan of Wandered's brand and just kind of their mission and what they're bringing to the table, then maybe you'll dig it. I think that's something a little bit more subtle would have worked for me personally a bit better, but it does look good. And a big reason why it looks good is the aesthetic of this rubber stamp with like this tarpaulin materials. And that's one of the big selling points about this sling is its weather resistance. And the reason for that weather resistance is this primary material on the exterior, which is tarpaulin. Tarpaulin is really sexy. It's really sleek, you see that shine? It's the same material that Wandered uses on their Provoke backpack, which I keep raving about. We'll start with the bottom. And this is actually one interesting thing about this sling. I've reviewed, feels like hundreds of slings at this point. And they're usually not very structured and they never have a back panel, and they never have an external carry solution on the bottom, but this guy does. This would be best for one of two things. A, a water bottle, or B, a tripod. And you can see we have both. Little tripod right here. Go ahead, put it into place and tighten it up. Or for me, I got a bit bulkier of a water bottle. I'm gonna have to loosen it up. Pop it right into place. Give it a little tighten, nice and secure. This is great, because not a lot of slings can accommodate water bottles very well. In fact, many of them can't, especially at three liters. It should be noted, one point of criticism I'm gonna have with this bag is Wandered seems to have done 
they're going to splurge on certain materials, right? Like this tarpaulin is just really nice. You can tell like it's gonna last the test of time, last the test of time. But I'm not crazy about the nylon they're using here, nor am I with the buckles. Yeah, I'm not sure what brand these are. The nylon feels okay. You can just tell that Wander maybe cut a few corners on a couple of these materials, which is fine. I think it's in line with the price point, but something to be aware of. Oh, and also one more note on these, and we're gonna have this come up a few times is, all right, so I hate when there is excess nylon like this, right? Like flapping all over the place. I like a nice, tidy, carrying experience. So that's why a lot of bags have web holders. And these are the most interesting web holders I've seen. I haven't seen this done before, where it's basically a Velcro web holder solution, which functionally, just like everything with this sling works fine, but it doesn't feel awesome. It kind of feels cheap. Doesn't mean it is cheap. Velcro is awesome. It works very, very well, but it just feels kind of Velcro-y. And that's sort of a recurring theme with this bag is it's functional as but a couple of corners were cut in terms of materials and in terms of execution and in terms of the build. Not corners were cut there, but just like it's a little bit bulkier. So you're losing some other aspects, but that functionality will always be there. So keep that in mind. Moving on up, we have the handle. I think the handle is perfect. We got a little bit of padding there. This is a 1680D ballistic nylon. It's got a nice feel to it. It's really well stitched into place. They did this double sort of stitching thing, which the look I think is interesting, but it definitely gets the job done. Moving on to the sides, we have these little guys on either side, these little handles. These work in a few different ways. One, just a leverage point, right? When you just wanna move your sling around, just another point to grab it and move it around. But also when you're in fanny mode, just kind of helps you readjust the sling or the fanny, I guess, to however you need it to be. Ultimately, I'm glad that they're there because they're a small thing. They don't cost a lot extra to put them on there and they're out of the way. And just, it's nice to have whenever you need them. Now let's talk about what's going on with the whole back and the whole shoulder strap, just this whole thing. Cause it's really cool. Wandered really tried to do something different here. They didn't really kind of copy anyone. They did their own thing. This padding is really nice. Like no, see that? I mean, that is padding right there. Nice cushiony experience. I like the materials here. I don't think these are very cheap materials. Not the finest, not the worst, but there's a decent amount of ventilation and you can see they got them some cuts right here, which helps with additional ventilation, right? So. This means that this area, wherever this is lying, let's see, it's on your chest right here, right? You got those cuts, a little extra breathability. And the shape itself is, you know, meant to sort of fit your torso, right? That sort of like curve, right? That sort of curve. It's not just gonna be like sharp and straight and like, like that, you know, like it's not rigid. It's, it's meant to fit the flow of your body. Yet again, functionally, from a comfort perspective, Wander's killing it. And that extends to your torso. It extends to when you're in fanny mode or maybe even in messenger mode. It's just a way to sort of soften the blow if this is like hitting up against you. It's interesting. And I can imagine for a photographer, especially this build goes a long way. And notice here, we have this little secret tunnel. You're like, Aaron, what's in there? I'll show you, I'll show you. We've got another strap, right? So you can tuck it away and keep it out of the way if you don't want it. But if you do want it, you can have it. You're like, Aaron, why do I want it? Let's say you're riding a bike, right? And you want to ensure that your sling is extra secure to your bod. So you go ahead and wear the sling like this and you click this into place. And now you're in tripod mode, baby. And now the sling, extra secure, ain't going nowhere. Bada bing, bada boom. Like I said, not gonna be something you're gonna use all the time, but it's especially useful for people who are cycling or on bikes or ATVs, right? Just wanna make sure the sling is extra safe. And then if you don't need it or don't want it, it's not removable. I guess you could cut it off, but then it's, you know, permanently removed. But I would just recommend tucking this guy in here because you will completely forget about it. Because of the padding on this thing, you'll probably forget it even exists. Shoulder strap. Yet again, sort of like average nylon. Um, it connects with this interesting connection system. Who makes you? Woojin. Good hardware. Duraflex and Woojin make the best hardware in the game. This is not a skimp on Wander's part, which we really appreciate, especially with such a crucial part of the sling. And it's actually really seamless to use, which is great. This one's super seamless. I mean, you can one finger this, watch. Done, one finger. That is spectacular. But not in a way that compromises the security of the connection. It is very secure. Moving on up, we have this nylon, I guess they're not crazy about. Yet again, the Velcro web holders. Functionally, they work. But at the end of the day, you got a little bit of Velcro sticking out here. It's just, it works. It's just, it doesn't 
feel right at the price point. Moving on up, we have the connection with the actual um, strap, which is the buckle right here. Buckle seems good. You know, a buckle like this should be okay. Something like this is a little bit more complex, right? That's why I'm trusting Wujin to take care of what needs to be taken care of. Now, moving on to the shoulder strap. We talked about this buckle right here. That's where the tripod extension connects to. And this part is removable, right? So if you don't want to use this, you can go ahead and take it off. And what that connects to is actually all these external lash points, which as Margaret and I were just talking about before we shot this, it's a little external lash point overkill. You're not gonna need to connect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things onto this strap simultaneously. But A, the aesthetic is consistent, which looks great. And that's something that just Wandered understands very well. And B, you now have the ability to adjust where you want the tripod connected to based on your height, based on your torso and everything. So I'm cool with that part, but it does feel a little bit like external lash point overkill. A little bit of branding from Wandered right here. And then the padding for the shoulder strap is great. You know, for a three liter sling, you're not gonna have a lot of weight unless you got a lot of photography gear in there. And in that situation, you know, just this extra padding, this extra ventilation, these little cuts in here, they all go a long way to just having a more comfortable carrying experience. Okay, now let's jump to the inside of the Wandered Rogue three liter sling. First up, the main compartment. Now the main compartment, just like both compartments actually, they are protected with YKK PU coated zips. YKK makes the best zips in the game. And PU coated just means that they are coated with polyurethane. I can never pronounce that correctly, but it just means that it's extra weather resistant. See that? Ain't no water getting in there, which is great. Yet again, photography sling makes sense. And I love Wandered's zipper poles. They use these also on the Wandered Duo Day Pack, which I'm just crazy about. I love that backpack. And I just love these zipper poles because they're so simple and they're so freaking functional. It's just so easy to zip and to unzip the bag. I actually think it adds a nice little style. I just love these zipper poles. Super smooth to open. And now we're in the main compartment. In the main compartment, we have a zipper pocket up here the main pocket with the divider here, and then a little back panel behind it. One thing to note about this compartment is it is dark. Um, I wish that they would have utilized a different color, maybe like a light gray, which would have helped create a highlight effect, which makes it easier to find your stuff. This pocket on the top, small, good for SD cards, photographer stuff like that. Well, for me, I'm gonna put my AirPods in there, tissues, go ahead and zip that up. Main compartment. This comes with the bag, right? It is the divider. now. Now for the divider itself, I think it gets the job done. It's not quite at the level of peak design flex fold dividers, but it gets the job done. It's soft enough as to where you feel like it's not going to cause any damage to your gear, but stiff enough as to where it'll maintain its shape. And yet again, it connects via Velcro, which is fine. They usually all these guys connect via Velcro. And that's great because this entire thing is lined with the materials necessary to adjust it, right? So if you want to put a lens right here in this corner, you can, right? Or if you want to just have two bodies, you can switch the divider to the middle and carry two bulkier um, things there. You know, it gives you some customization, which is important, especially for photographers out there or just anyone, right? And then finally in the back, just sort of a panel here, very basic, no additional organization, good for flatter items, maybe a notebook and a pen. Let's sort of pack it out with a few things and see what it looks like. Now I'm not a photographer, so I'm gonna pack it out with some non-photographer stuff, which is great because on your non-photography days, you still wanna be able to use this so you can see what fits in it. And then we'll show you what fits in it for your photography days. All right, so we got a few things here. Actually, I'm gonna reorganize a little bit. I'm gonna take my headphones out. And instead, I'm gonna put my sunglasses there. I think it's a nice little sunglasses compartment. It's a little bit safer up there because it's further away from the other gear. And it just seems sunglass shaped to me. In the back, I'm gonna put a little moleskin notebook, perfect fit with a pen right on top. Oh, actually, we got this little pull tab I didn't mention. This is great just to get additional access into that back compartment. But can you slide a pen in there? Yes, you can. Double freaking whammy, pen for show. Like I said, with this cubby, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little tech area. So I'm gonna throw this cubby on the side. And then I got my battery with a wire in case my phone loses its charge. Put that right on the side. And then I'm just gonna throw some of the bulkier stuff in there. There's not a lot of organization in this sling, right? So wallets going in there, tripod, tissues, AirPods. And you know, for three liters, it feels like it's about three liters, but because of the structure, you're always gonna have that extra space, right? So you can always throw a few extra additional things in there if you want. You can go ahead and zip it up. Beautiful. And for photographers, it's also ideal for camera lenses, your camera, batteries, 
And you can also fit a lens pen right here. Let's get into that back compartment. I really wish that the zipper pull that they used on this compartment was also on the back compartment. Yet again, YKK PU coated, easy to unzip. Then on this side, it's a back panel, so it's a section for flatter things, right? We do have a key ring solution here, non-magnetic, pretty basic, cannot see the brand, but it seems to be a decent clip. You just go ahead and take your key ring, clip it on. Uh, you got this little button right there, so it's easy to unclip as well. Get the job done not crazy about this location, but this is a really flat area and I would have loved to have put something flat back there, like a Kindle. Seems like a perfect fit, right? Literally is a perfect fit, but now that my keys are back there, I don't know, I'm less kind of stoked about it. Well, you got these two pockets right here, right? These pockets are small, probably about yay big each, two of them. So I got some gum put on one side, backup mask on the other side. They're not extremely versatile, or should I say this section is not extremely versatile. But if you get creative, you can definitely find some things to put in there. Zip it on up. Now, let's test out the comfort a little bit. Now that it's packed out. Yeah, I mean, this strap is, it feels amazing. I'm not used to this sort of comfort and padding on a sling. I feel a little spoiled right now, but then I see what it looks like on the monitor, on my camera, and I'm like, ah, well that's, you know, I'm, I'm sort of paying for that part. I got this big old bulge, right? So aesthetically, you're gonna have to figure out if that's for you. But for you photographers out there, the ability to just do this, grab your camera and click, I mean, accessibility, functionality, it's really impressive. But ultimately, like that's kind of the game. That's what this is all about. Function versus form. And we're learning more and more about this every day because I'm not sure if you know, but here at Nomads Nation, we're actually building our own backpack and documenting the entire experience right here, right on this YouTube channel. So that's why I get it, like it's tough to sort of balance, like having this sweet and sexy look with all the functionality that you need as well. This is what we're learning as we're building our own backpack and our own sling. And if you wanna follow our journey more closely, and if you wanna be able to vote on some of the key features of the backpack that we're building, then I highly recommend clicking on the second link in the description below. From there, you'll be able to sign up to our email newsletter where you get an exclusive behind the scenes look at us building our own backpack. That's where you get the voting rights. You'll get an early announcement for the Kickstarter campaign. Basically like, the, like a really in-depth look. If you're interested in this project, the email list is where you'll find it. And I hope to see you in your inbox. Okay, let's talk about the overall pros and the overall cons of the Wandered Rogue 3 liter sling. Pro number one is that this is just an awesome sling for photographers. Pro number two is the sleek look and feel of the tarpaulin material. And pro number three is that next level quick access. But I got some cons as well, here they are. Con number one is for that functionality that you're getting, you are sacrificing a bit of aesthetics. Con number two is I'm not super crazy about these Velcro web holders and straps, kind of what's going on here. And con number three is I think at the price point, Wandered may have skimped ever so slightly on some of the materials, not all, but some. So if you're still here and you're thinking to yourself, I want it, that's the sling for me, and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. The reason being that link will make sure that you get the best price super important. But it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which is also super important. Thank you for your support. But let's say you are not quite sold. Let me throw a couple of alternative suggestions your way. Alternative suggestion number one is going to be the Wandered Rome six or nine liter sling. This is for you if you're totally digging the Rome vibes, but the three liter is just not big enough for you. You got more gear, especially more photography gear. If you wanna learn more about the larger variations of the Rome Sling, go ahead and navigate down yonder to the description of this video and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Peak Design Everyday Sling. It's kind of similar. Hard shell sling with dividers, great for photographers, but I'd say overall it's a more premium look, build, and feel, and price. But if you're looking to, you know, throw a bit of cash on the sling that you're looking for, Take a look down in the description below to watch our full review of the Peak Design Everyday Sling. And alternative sling recommendation number three is going to be the Nomadic Navigator Sling. There's a few different sizes, but it's gonna be an ideal sling for you if you're looking for a hard shell sling, but not necessarily a photography hard shell sling. It's a great tech sling, it'll protect all your gear, and we did a couple of Nomadic Navigator Sling reviews, which you can find in the description below. 
So if you're still here, you might have a little something we at Nomads Nation like to call sling fever. It's hot, it's steamy. And the best way to cool down that sling fever is to watch our full roundup of the best slings on the market, which you can do so right here. This video will show you how we pick our slings, what we look for in a sling, and a bunch of the best options on planet Earth. Definitely check it out. My name's Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.